Assalamualaikum, distinguished panel members, esteemed colleagues, and attendees of the I Speak International Graduate Colloquium 2035. My name is Kausar Madini, and it's a privilege to present my research today. The focus of this presentation is for the assessment of research project presentation costs and to share insights within this esteemed colloquium. My research aims to look into the adherence aspect of AI chatbot dietary and exercise planning targeting the elderly population. Before we begin, I'd like to briefly introduce the NextGen ChatGPT system. NextGen ChatGPT offers personalized nutrition and exercise guidance through an easy to use interface powered by ChatGPT. Let me walk you through how it works. One, complete the survey. Start by Filling out a 12-section survey, discover your goals, demographics, health history, lifestyle, and more. But don't worry, sample answers are provided to guide you. 2. Generate prompts. After entering your responses, the system automatically creates ready-to-use prompts in the green section. 3. Receive personalized guidance. Copy these prompts and paste them into ChatGPT. The AI will analyze your information and deliver tailored nutrition and health advice. 4. Plan your week. Use the prompts to generate a customized one-week exercise plan and seven-day meal plan, complete with portion sizes and calorie estimates. 5. Organize your meals. Create a detailed grocery list and access easy-to-follow recipes and preparation guides to simplify your meal planning. Let's start by exploring the research background. The elderly population often faces declining physical activity and nutritional habits over time. This decline requires tailored strategies to sustain engagement and motivation effectively. Emerging technologies such as AI-driven tools like NextGen ChatGPT show promise in addressing this issue. AI tools can support self-regulation and continuous monitoring for improved health outcomes. However, there's still a gap in understanding how AI can ensure a long-term adherence and fitness in older adults. Our study investigates this gap focusing on dietary and physical fitness adherence in Malaysian elderly. Now, let's delve into problem statement for deeper understanding. Let's now examine the problem at hand. Elderly Malaysians experience a steady decline in physical activity and healthy dietary habits over time. Maintaining long-term engagement in exercise and diet plans remains a significant challenge. Current tools like Chatbot show potential but struggle with long-term adherence and motivation. Expert consultations are labor-intensive and costly, making them impractical for widespread use. A critical gap exists in personalized adaptive frameworks tailored to elderly needs. This is where NextGen ChatGPT aims to make a difference addressing adherence and dynamic goal-setting challenges. Now, let's discuss the research objective that guide our study. Our study has two main objectives. First, to measure exercise and dietary adherence over a three-month intervention using next-gen activity. Second, to compare physical fitness outcomes pre- and post-intervention. Next, we'll explore the existing literature to provide context for our research. This table outlines an overview of randomized controlled trial chatbots for recommendations, physical activity, and nutrition. Upon reviewing this literature, it is clear that the existing chatbots have the potential to enhance physical activity and nutritional planning. However, none of the RCT study utilizing AI-powered chatbot and still require human expert intervention. In non-randomized studies, it demonstrates how integrating chatbots with platforms like Facebook and Telegram can offer personalized support, boost adherence, and motivate users towards healthier lifestyles. Similarly, none of the chatbots used in the study utilize AI-powered chatbot and still demand constant human oversight, limiting their reach and effectiveness. This slide shows architecture framework of next-gen ChatGPT system integration. At the heart of next-gen prompt generator is a blend of interpersonal variabilities relevant to exercise and dietary planning for elderly. This study employs one group, pre- and post- 
was test experimental design to scrutinize the next gen tech GPT's integration in the way management for the academia. Through quantitative analysis, this proposed study measured the extent of the adherence to nutritional and exercise plans, and importantly, this shifts over transformative three month intervention in physical fitness function among elderly participants. The left figure shows the participant recruitment flowchart, including inclusion and exclusion criteria. And the figure on the right shows the example of distribution plot calculated using G-Power software based on the relatively similar work by Maher 2020. The calculation determines a minimum of 70 participants required to achieve the PET pre post sampling power. This figure shows the research procedure, flowchart, starting from research ethical application, recruitment, pre-assessment, intervention, and post-assessment. This figure shows more detailed picture of this intervention procedures starting from first lab visit, pre-intervention, weekly dietary and physical exercise, intervention that will continue for three months long, as well as post-intervention assessment. Adherence level will be measured in two dimensions, the dietary adherence level and the physical exercise adherence level. The table show in the slide is scoring criteria for dietary adherence scores. Meanwhile, for the physical exercise adherence level, this proposed study and analyze the percentage of activities completed by participants relative to the plan generated by the exchange ChatGPT framework. How to do this? This study used the Tower Lake equivalent mass value calculation for completed activities and plan exercises. Next, let's discuss how we measure muscular endurance. We use 30 second chair stand test, a simple yet effective method. Participants sat on 44 centimeter armless chair with arm across over their shoulders. They stood up and sat down repeatedly for 30 seconds. The total number of completed repetitions was recorded for analysis. Now let's move to the next measurement for muscular strength. We assess muscular strength using the hand grip test. Now let's discuss cardiovascular endurance. Cardiovascular endurance was measured using the 6-minute walking test. Participants walk on a 30-meter track as far as possible in 6 minutes. The total distance covered was recorded for analysis. Balance was assessed using the one leg balance test. This test predicts fall risk and measure static and dynamic balance. Flexibility was measured using the modified seat and reach test. Participants bent forward with straight spine measuring distance above or below the tubes. The best of two attempts was recorded. Now, let's take a look at the results. Let's review the dietary adherence result over 12 weeks. Scores were stable in the first three weeks, of averaging 35 plus minus 3.9. By week five, scores declined significantly, reaching 28 plus minus 5.7. A partial recovery occurred in week seven, but scores dropped again to 22 plus minus 3.8 by week 12. One way ANOVA confirmed significant variance across weeks with a p-value less than 0.01. These findings highlight the challenge of maintaining long-term dietary adherence. Next, let's take a look at physical activity adherence. Adherence started high, peaking at 9.5 plus minus 2.9% in week 2. From week 5 onward, a gradual decline was observed, reaching 61 plus minus 3.5% by week 12. One way another showed a significant variance with an F value of 6.11 and a P value less than 0.01. This decline indicates the challenge of sustaining activity over time. Let's now move to changes in physical fitness levels. Significant improvements were observed in key areas of balance, hand grip strength, stair stand repetition, and walking distance. Flexibility improved slightly but was not statistically significant. These results highlight the intervention's potential for enhancing elderly fitness levels. Now let's conclude our findings. In conclusion, the next gen tech GPT intervention showed promising results. Physical fitness improved significantly in balance, strength, and enduring metrics. Dietary and physical activity adherence showed partial improvements but declined over time. These findings demonstrate the potential of AI driven programs for elderly health. However, sustaining long term adherence remains a challenge that needs further exploration. Further studies should refine engagement strategies to ensure lasting health benefits. AI-based solution can play a key role in supporting healthy aging. And listed here are the references that I used throughout this presentation. 
And with that, I end this presentation with 